walking into our apartment here for the first time, looking around. It is empty. How are you feeling, Heather? Excited. You see, got you got here. it. Look at that view. <laughs> Beautiful view of the city. over here. Bedrooms. Awesome. Another bedroom. All the windows are drawn. And then third bedroom. Another bath. Looking good. Awesome. Awesome. We've got a lot of furniture we still need to get, apparently. <laughs> if that isn't obvious. So, here is something interesting. Apparently, to use the stovetop, you need to flip on the electrical to get this going. Oh, but it's not starting. Why is that not starting? Well, it turns out the gas stove is run off a tank and you gotta call and get service to have the tank here even though this is baked right into the apartment. Heather and I did our first Singapore IKEA trip and we came back with some chairs. How are the chairs looking, Heather? They look kind of cheap, but I hope that they are sturdy. Well, they, they look nice. They match our table and... Speaking of the table, Ta-da! We now have a table! And we bought some other stuff. We bought some trash cans. So we're starting to get some stuff into the apartment, slowly but surely. I have now put together two of the four chairs, and Heather's unpacked a picture. We have the rug out, the table I already showed you. And we started unpacking clothes, and so we've got stuff in here. We've got clothes in here, clothes in here. Look at that, pretty awesome. And I even have my few clothes in there. How about that, nice, all right. And that's in less than 24 hours after landing. Okay, more to do. Another thing I find interesting about this apartment is that every single power outlet has a switch. And you can see here by default, it's off. And then now when you have that little orange dot, that's on. But every single outlet has a switch and uh, they're all off right now. So we need to turn them on if we want to use them. I'm not entirely sure if that's a safety feature or I'm guessing that's what it is but it's just kind of interesting. And then all of our trash has to fit down this little chute. So in the States, we're very used to having these big garbage cans and then big bags of garbage. Um, here, this is probably the biggest thing you can throw down that is like a, a small plastic Target sized bag. Of course, we don't have Target here, uh, but small bag. Um, and then over here you can see this is where our air conditioning units sit, uh, and they are brand new. They, that was nice of them. They put brand new ACs in for us when we moved in. Um, and then our laundry is over here as well, so we got stacked washer-dryer. Since I didn't get a great video of it earlier, here is the kitchen. It's kind of a wedge shape, kind of a wedge in our pie of an apartment, our circular apartment. So it gives you a little flavor of what that looks like, kind of oddly shaped. Um, not huge, but it gets the job done. And then another quick view of the main living area. Um, we now have all four chairs together. And yeah, so we have 
plenty of room for more furniture. Our shipment should be arriving on Monday, so we're looking forward to that coming. Uh, and then hopefully we'll get internet set up shortly thereafter. You can see here is our fiber connection. We have uh, a direct fiber optic line all the way up here. So um, I've never had fiber before, so this is exciting. Should have very fast internet. We are doing our first train ride as locals. I just got my MRT card for the first time, so this is going to be my best friend. And today we are going shopping. We need to buy uh, a, I don't know, some hair dryer, hair, hair and dryer, an electric toothbrush, electric toothbrush and, and maybe a curling iron, but it doesn't look like they carry those here. And then we are also going to do, make a stop to have our appointment for our government IDs. So that we, we will figure that out. That will hopefully help us out a lot too. So once we have our government IDs, we can do pretty much everything that we need to to get the apartment set up, utility stuff, and bank account, which is what we hopefully need to get in place soon because we have a bill due that we need a bank account to pay. So anyway, it's coming together. On we go. There is a bit of a toilet paper shortage. This is where toilet paper would be. You can see there's a couple rolls, but uh, the vast majority is sold out. So we're picking up a couple rolls while we can. We found it, the employment Pass Service Center. So this is where we're going to have our meeting to get our passes. Heather's employment pass, my dependent pass. So we can be legally we here? We can be legally here. For this is the extended period? Yes, this is our legal immigration process. <laughs> and uh, we don't really know what to expect on this. So it's We're meeting somebody named Nori? Probably some kind of an interview process. Uh, It'll I take 30 minutes. don't know really what to expect. I do assume that I can't bring video in. So that's why I'm videoing out here, and we'll give you an update afterwards and let you know how it went, what happened. We just got out of our meeting at the, off the what do they call it, Ministry of Manpower, and it was interesting. So there wasn't any kind of an interview process. We just had to get our pictures taken. And fingerprints. Um, and fingerprints. It was very much like a DMV back in the U.S., except not a lot of people. We went right in. We had an appointment. It was really quick and easy. Um, we learned it'll take us four days to get our IDs and every working, our, days. working, days. working days. So today's Thursday. It'll probably be Wednesday that we heard that we'd get our IDs um, printed cards, which will be nice. Um, and the what were you saying? You were frustrated about something just now when we were walking out here. I think it was just the four days. Okay, just the four days. Yeah. So. Because we have a bill that's due on the 20th. Yes. That we can't pay. Yeah, how do you pay a bill when you so, don't have a bank account? And how do you get a bank account when you don't have an ID? But we may try. We, we have temporary, like, it's we, kind of like at the DMV before you get they your give you license. Papers. They give you a paper one. So we might just see if a bank will give us an account. Yeah, we we're, were good for it. We, <laughs> we'll find out. We were told that we, we went in there with a lawyer and she was saying that sometimes people banks will let you set up an account with just that paperwork even though you don't have an official number or an official card so we'll we may give it a try also we confirmed david can work yes His company does need to file a letter of letter of consent consent i just need a letter of consent and we're good to go and then I'm, i can work for as long as we're here so that's not a problem anyway we're excited we got that done that's a big job done a lot of things have been hinging on this so it's really good we got this done yes